Welcome to the first episode of Shaw TV's new show, The Heart of Culture. I'm here at Mafeo Sutton Park, and my name is Alina Sermonera. I'm the events manager with the Gabriola Arts Council. First on the lineup today is introducing the rock and roll band, The Stacks, from beautiful Nanaimo, BC. They've got their hands dipped in traditional soul blues music, and we want to give you a sample of it right here. I've got a diamond and she shines without a flaw My love for her is justice, my affection is the law I've got a bottle of that Daniels in the truck, so saddle up boys Oh, the things I do for love The stacks are kind of in your face and raucous. I started out as kind of like bar fight music, uh, but we we wanted to have fun with it and we wanted it to be something that the audience could have fun with. I mean, it, I think it's safe to say that when we're on stage, we move a lot and we sweat a lot. Live, we try to turn it up a bit and get a little crazier, sometimes a bit sloppier on purpose. As much as it is rowdy, it's also something that's supposed to make people uh, enjoy themselves. So we haven't had a bar fight yet at our shows, and uh, and hopefully we can keep that um, going. Bound by possession and adherence to the cause. I've got a diamond I can look past all her flaws. Boy, I don't like it when the moon shines in the barn. I said, my oh my oh my oh my oh my. The things I do. pretty strong um, do-it-yourself work ethic and sort of a do-it-yourself do-it-yourself uh, sort of system of beliefs. Um, so what sets us apart is we do have a lot of control over what we're putting out and that's kind of typical of like a low-level indie band anyway but I hope I think we hope to remain that way um, no matter what happens with the group. We've had had maybe like two fights about deciding what we should do and like deciding who gets to wear the cool necklaces on stage. It's the closest thing I've experienced, I think, to uh, being married. Uh, there's there's um, a lot of emotions involved when there's more than one person. And uh, I just really enjoy the creative process working with these guys. And I, got, I feel very fortunate, having um, played in other projects, to be with these two guys, because uh, it's the sweetest marriage I've been in thus far. just one of many awesome bands playing at the new Gabriola Music Festival this Labor Day long weekend on beautiful Gabriola Island. There's a huge lineup full of 16 really great bands such as the Cavaleros, Twin Bandit, uh, Fall Brigade, and so many more, a real wide range selection. You can get all the information you need on the Gabriola Music Festival at gabriolamusicfest.com and then you can also get tickets at Fascinating Rhythm downtown Nanaimo and on Gabriola's Nature Spirit Earth Market.
This year, Indie Entertainment is hosting the third annual Nanaimo Idol competition. Um, Nanaimo Idol is an all ages competition based solely on talent. So we're not worried really about, you know, your looks or, or um, what you're wearing and, and other things that you've done. We're totally basing it on your vocal performance and uh, how well you sing which is, I think, kind of unique because lots of other places you go and uh, it's based on a lot of other things than just on talent. You told me you loved me That's all I believe I want to come over One of the great things about uh, Nanaimo Idol is that it's an all-ages competition. So whether you are 45 or 50 and you've never been on stage before and you want to give it a try or you have a six-year-old kid who loves to sing and doesn't stop this is a really really great chance and a friendly way of getting up on stage and uh, giving it a try. So the finals for Nanaimo Idol are going to be held at Maffeo Sutton Park during Marine Fest. Uh, the top five finalists are going to have a chance to perform their songs live with the Femme Fatales. The first place prize package for Nanaimo Idol is turning out to be a really great package. We have the Chamber Studio located underneath the Queens giving a full day studio time. So that is a great way to get some demos done and a great way to start your career. We also have an artist development and branding package coming from Yona Christensen at West Coast Vocal Academy and Indie Entertainment. We have a photo shoot. The other great opportunity is to perform live with the Femme Fatales, not just at Nanaimo Idol during the finals, but at a different date, at a different location. It's a really great opportunity to give youth and people who sing in their showers and who are don't have the opportunity to get up on stage and do that thing that they love, the opportunity to do just that. So that wraps up the first episode of Shaw TV's The Heart of Culture. If you have an arts event or program going on in the community that you want people to hear about, give us a shout. My name's Alina Sermonera, and I'll see you next time.